Last season, we literally narrowly missed out on the title against Milan. While also becoming average in the Champions League and Coppa Italia and the Super Cup, where we didn't win or do what the board were expecting of us to do. So, this season, we have to actually win things, I say. And well, can we do that with the board only giving us £5 million to spend? Yeah, I've, I've checked and it doesn't get any better than this. Literally, it would be given £5 million to spend. That is just obnoxious and stupid by the board, but we're going to have to deal with it. Hopefully, we can somehow keep our squad going and improve them and stuff like that and get them into get them required level to challenge. But so we are. Well, we're on the 5th of September 2030 and we somehow managed to get £92 million in on transfers. Mind you, this was because of some of them being over the course of a few seasons, so yeah, that's how we managed to do that. But, first off, before the season even began, Paul, Paul Cabossi, um, who was with us last season from loan from Boston. He's joined us permanently for £19 million. And then if we go to a new season, we signed a few people. So Manuel Gasparini has joined us as our backup goalkeeper. And then our third choice goalkeeper was in the process or had been sold. So we needed a second backup goalkeeper. I actually think this guy will be our second choice, not our cup goalkeeper. I think Dean Henderson will be our own backup third choice this will be our second choice but he joins uh, Milos Pajinovic has joined us as our breakthrough prospect centre back I expect him to be much better than that but this was direct football not 6 million rising to 7.75 million I think that was worth it so yeah he's joined Amar Dedic has also joined us this was that signing that's been over the course of a few seasons so it's 38 million pounds altogether but it's something like 15 million straight away and 15 or whatever uh well 15 million pounds straight away 23 million pound over the course of three years comes in as our main choice left back already replacing a very guy who signed last year so yeah a bit unfortunate for him but yeah um birdie Pagliaglu has joined us as well um just as a major backup comes in for 31 and a half million pound rising to 4 million pound from brighton and we send some youngsters. Ricard joins us as our future prospect, £1 million from Villarreal. Augustin Aquino has joined us as our well, squad player, but he'll probably be back up for this season and we might be loaned out in January. Um, but he joins us as a really, really good up and coming prospect. He's joined us for £6.5 million. And finally, we signed Luca Menini, uh, who is our. From our rivals Milan, 4.2 million. I think this is a brilliant offer, and he could really turn out to be an even better player. He can't really play our positions. The best position he can play is AMC and AMR, who we do play there, but his expected position in midfield in the centre, which we don't play, but I think he can get really good. So, yeah, we've got him in on from Milan. And then the out, Marcus Turam. We sold El Hilal, we were looking to sell him and yeah, five fifteen point seven five million pound to them. Then our second choice or third choice goalkeeper, Nero Oberbeck, was sold to Lecce for hundred and fifty thousand pound. Patrizio Alberti, who could have been in our first team plans this season, has ended up being loaned out to Sadrem. Francisco Rivera, another player that could have been in the first team plans, he's been loaned out to Palermo. Then we sold Roberto Vieira, he was just, yeah, he was just not good enough. He, he could have been in the first team plans, but his potential ability dropped down massively. His current ability wasn't nowhere near as good as it should be. And so we've sold him to Cagliari. Carlos Augusto was sold to Al Shabab. He was unhappy. We sold him for 7 million, rising to 8 million if he plays one game. I think he's already got that already. So, yeah, good deal there. And Francisco Peo Esposito was sold to Cohn. 7 million pound. I don't think he was good enough at one bit for us. And yeah, so we just sold him. And yeah, he's gone to Cologne uh, for 7 million. Hopefully, he'll do good there. Barrison was also sold to Casenza. We signed their goalkeeper, so they replaced him with this guy. Highly that they did, but yeah, um, when they offered the money that was £300,000 rising to £325,000 if he plays one game, so one game it's £25,000, 
£150,000 up front, another £150,000 over the course of a year. I think that was good offer, so we just sold him because he had hardly any potential. And so yeah, he was sold. Aaron Buru could have been in our first team plans again. He has been loaned out to Bologna. Now this one I didn't really want to make, Nicolo Varela. Uh, he was sold for £22 million pound to PSG, rising to, well, it was £20 million, pound, rising to £22 million pound if he played one game. He's played that one game so it's now £22 million. Pound. He could have been in my first team plans, but he wanted to leave so we sold him. We also sold Kami Kami Tundo. He could have been in my first team plans and once again, but yeah, I don't think it was going to reach his tensibility, so we just sold him while we could. £325,000 to Lecce. Johan Legrand, who was a signing last season, he has left us to go on loan to Sampdoria. Federico DiMarco, who I said I would try and sell. We sold him in the end for £13 million. Dead cheap to Al Ali. Luke Comanzo, who could have been in my first team plans, he was loaned out again like did last season, this time to Las Palmas. Jacopo Sesti, who was again in our hosting plans, decided to loan him out, this time to Lyon. Yeah, and they were all the transfers. Now, we've got a player joining us um, when he turns 18 in January. Um, Matias De Carlos. He's a centre-back, can be left-back. And he, yeah, he's joining us um, from Penarol. He has played 14 times for Penarol this season at 17, and he's going to be loaned out back to them for next season. So from January 2031 to December 2031. So he'll basically be playing all of next season at Penarol. I think he could be a very decent player. We, we signed him for the cheap. We signed him for three million pounds. That's not bad for a player that. I think we could get a massive profit on. Yeah, we've started off averagely. We were undefeated in pre-season, and then we've beaten to Swallow 3-0. But then, fortunately, we drew with Lazio at home. I think we should be winning that. But we did beat Spezia after that, 4-0. In terms of the league currently, we're fifth place. Seven points in three games. And the team that are top is currently Bologna, followed by Juventus, followed by Napoli. who have all played four games and undefeated in those four games Milan are also ahead of us and they've played three and lost one already who have they lost to lost to Hellas Verona of all teams but yeah an average start I think we could improve if it weren't for that gut draw against Napoli I mean Lazio we probably what we would definitely be Fourth, and hopefully we'll be winning another game and getting to fit first. But yeah, hopefully we can improve from the start, do well this season, and maybe win something. Hopefully a Serie A, hopefully a Champions League, hopefully a Coppa Italia, hopefully a Super Bowl. Hopefully we can do the quadruple. I highly doubt it, but let's try and see. Right, so we're back on the 31st of December, and it's not actually going as well as I would want it to do. Yeah, we have played 18, we've won 11, drawn 2, lost 5. We've got amazing goal difference, um, but we're a point behind Bologna, who were in 4. If we go see that reason, uh, if we quickly look at where we are in the Champions League, we're currently 21st, we might not even get into the next round of the Champions League. Ah, uh, that's, this is, this is poor. Um, but as you can see, it's not gone too well. We lost the Torino game. Then we drew with Bayer Leverkusen and lost to Chelsea, both in the Champions League. But we beat Pisa and then we went on a horrible run in October, losing every single game. Salernitana lost, Parma lost, Cremonese lost, Porto lost and Hellas Verona lost. And it's not until just recently I've returned around after a 7-0 thump in Guatalanta. I don't know how we beat them 7-0, but okay. But yeah, it's got better. And uh, knock off a draw with Milan and a draw with Man U and all that. But it's got better, so I don't think we need to change the tactic. If we'd still been drawing and losing, um, like this point in these past few months, we probably would have changed the tactic. Because it's sorted itself out, I decided not to change the tactic. The only person who's unhappy is for Tessie, who wants to leave because he thinks he's, he's achieved everything at the club. We're trying to sell him, no one wants him, so yeah, he's not in the mood to be going. We, haven't, we also haven't locked anyone in this season, I just want to see how it goes out without locking anyone in. But yeah, we need to improve if we're going to come out with anything this season. And in the end, we kind of pulled it back, we were still miles off Napoli. 
uh, 15 points in the end, but we're five points off Juventus, and in the end, a massive seven points ahead of fourth place Milan. Okay, that's that's not the bad. That's not that bad. We somehow, you know, fixed it. So what's the other side of things that are even better? We're runners up in the Champions League, losing one nil in the final to Barcelona. Victor Roque, Victor Roque, I mean, scored off. Oh, 8 to 90 minute winner. Lynn Price ended up playing, he was awful. Why wasn't left Tom Martinez playing? Okay, that's a surprise. Copper Italia, and um, we were also lost in the final this time to Milan. 80th minute winner by Jose Marza. But we thankfully did win a trophy in the EA Sports FC Super Cup, beating Milan 1 0. 6th minute winner with Romeo Lavia scoring. Yeah, we probably should have took it to extra time for the Milan game and the game against Barcelona, but okay. Okay. Disappointing. <laughs> uh, apparently, Newcastle and Arsenal have won the Champions League in the past few seasons, as well as Tottenham. Okay, that's interesting. But yeah, uh, could be better. That's all I'll say. Could be better. Uh, in terms of the results since we last left you. We were brilliant in general, of course we won out against Atlanta and won against Milan to win the Super Copper. The only problem coming against was a draw against Lazio. We lost to Napoli one game before and draw against Milan, but we did beat them in the knockout phases of the Champions League, so we beat Milan in another well we beat them in a final of also beat them in the knockout round of the Champions League. Kinda went wrong here maybe. A draw against Atletico though it didn't matter because we won it. Draw against Bologna, draw against Roma, lost against uh, Tottenham, but we turned it around. Then I lost against Milan and Juventus, of course. We need to improve. We need to improve. I don't think we need to change the tactic again. The tactic's quite good. The tactic is actually quite decent. And yeah, uh, only a few changes, maybe some personnel changes. I don't know. If we go to the competitions of Serie A, Martinez was nowhere near top goal score. He only scored 18 this time. That's quite like clean sheets in the end. Uh, Ramsdale got 17. Nowhere near uh, Aiden, who were, or maybe Aiden, who was first of Juventus. But Cagliari got interceptions per 90 minutes, 3.98. That's not bad. Team overview were most goals. Third, second or joint second or first got shots against. Nowhere near. I know it's been nowhere near possession. We were seventh on most triples made, third on least conceded, third on clean sheets, first on shots for, and of course third for points per game. Look at the players. Most played player was Latoro Martinez, followed by Ramsdale, followed by Diamande, followed by Guerra, followed by Lavia, Carboni. Mudrick, Bastoni and Isaacson all played quite a lot. And where is our guy? Angelini only ended up playing 24 games starting and 8 off the bench. Might have to look him in for next season. Um, Lebrega played more. I did decently but yeah. Goals, Latour Martin is 29 in all competitions. Nowhere near as good as last season. That's probably where we lacked and didn't actually do winning I actually didn't win things because of that. Petrini got a load of goals again like he did last season. I think it was him last season. Out on, on loan at uh, a team. Caboli got 21 goals. Gray got 19. Millot got 13. Isaacson got 12. Then some of the more um, players that were loaned out. I'm, Aaron Burry looks brilliant. So he's going to be in the first team next year. Chiesa got 7. Mudrick got 6. In terms of assists, Mudrick got 16. Boney got 13, Guayo got 11, Chiesa got 7, 11, Isaacson got 11, and Martinez got 11, Milot got 7, and then Lavia got 5, and so did Dedic. In terms of average rating, Carboni was our best player. Then it was Guerra, then it was Milot. Or Milo, I don't know how to pronounce it. Enzo Milo, Enzo Milot, Enzo Milo. I don't know. Isaacson got over 7, so did Mudrick. Martinez was nowhere near as good. As last time, um, Thiago Santos did well when he did play, and he has been listed. Yeah, uh, Lavia did well. 
and you could say actually not even on one of our players it was loaned out and Ramsdale didn't do too bad for a goalkeeper getting 6.99 in 54 games in terms of squad dynamics um, no one is unhappy that is brilliant to see we've got good uh, Mancio spot excellent club outs for a very good team cohesion just exactly what you want to see in a team yeah we have to improve for next season uh, looks like some people are leaving might be leaving next year yeah, for Tessie's leaving, this guy's leaving, we've got to give Lartour and Martins a new contract. As well as Ramsdale, I reckon Keza could be given a new contract. And people have to be given contracts. Yeah, um, so-so season. We started off awfully, turned it around and won the Super Cup because of that. Got to run it up in the Champions League and the Coppa Italia and third in the Serie A. So if we'd continued that form in before the season, kind of kicked off. Well, if we hadn't lost all those games in October, basically, I think we would have been in tune to win more than just the Super Cup, maybe even three, maybe four, who knows. But that is enough for this episode. So, yeah, um, if you've liked it, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more FM24 content videos. Coming up to FM25 now, and there's a community post on my channel community page. So go check that out and vote for what you want to see for FM25. You can vote on either just being rebuilds or being rebuilds journeyman's being rebuilds journeyman's and these short series every few weeks over the course of FM or just shorter series every few weeks or every few weeks before being renewed with another short series as well as rebuilds. So go check that out, vote on what you think would be best for my channel, what you want to watch the most. But yeah, that is the end of this episode. So I've been Matthew, also the Summer Hex, and I'll see you all next time. Hex, signing out. Bye, everybody.